time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Imagine pouring tens of thousands of dollars into building your dream home. Then in an instant, you learn it's going into foreclosure to no fault of your own. And it happened to a young couple who watched their house go up for auction today. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. So how could this have possibly happened? Well, according to the Contractors Registration Board, the answer is simple. The developers didn't pay the bank, didn't pay most of the subcontractors, and then just walked away. How much for it do we hear a bid for? Talk about feeling totally helpless. At $300,000 bid, do we hear three twenty-five? dollars Greg Hatchway and his wife Gina are watching perfect strangers bid on their brand new home. A home they poured more than $140,000 into and never took ownership of. Sick to my stomach. I was devastated. You know, we've, we have two years of time invested into this home. Um, Hearts. our childhood savings invested into this home. Gina and Greg unfortunately are caught in the middle of a mess as the bank forecloses on the developers. Stephen, James and Thomas Colucci. The brothers were developing Great Woods Estates in Cumberland, but a few years into it, things started to bottom out. We went digging through town records and found the Coluchis failed to pay real estate taxes on the Hattoy's house and six unsold lots. They stopped paying the bank and their subcontractors. We had subs walking off the job here. The reality of what was coming next hit Gina and Greg hard. We've paid to finance at least half to 75% of it, I would say, and then all of a sudden you get a phone call saying your house is going to be foreclosed. In 2012, the couple entered into a contract with the Colucci Company, LLC. Well, Call 12 for Action did a little digging and learned that the company at the time was working illegally. We go through our records and we find that Colucci Companies is not among any of our registered contractors. The Colucci brothers now face multiple violations and liens from suppliers who are owed thousands of dollars. And, you know, we just didn't know what to do. I have $360,000 bid. Now the bank wants its money. In the last call, it was sold for $360,000. In the end, the bank bought back the house for $360,000. The, the Colucci brothers should be ashamed of themselves. Call 12 for Action reached out to all three Colucci brothers, including their attorney, and no one ever returned our calls. In Cumberland, Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.